Summits, which stands for World Internet Summit. Surprise, surprise. Jason, since you're here and you're looking so handsome, put your hand in there and pick out a number. Get it, get it ready. I said I'd be doing, I've got to keep my promise, Jason, because I said to these lovely people, I would be taking prizes from, um, okay, this is Peter. His name is Peter. Good name. And the number is 0601. Peter, if you're here, come up and get a prize. We're going to keep drawing until people get here. It's very important we start on time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we got another one. You want to pick out another one, Jason? If Peter's here, it's a Gmail address. Peter Xavier, 77 at Gmail, 0601. Lo Min Hyo. Um, Dylan Lowe at Gmail. Everyone's got a Gmail address. I wonder. Google is just taking over, aren't they? They're a brilliant organization. Um, Dylan, your number is 0155. Come up and get a prize. I think we might, they might choose from these. What do you reckon? Yeah? Where is everybody? Oh, Yahoo address. Now, this is um, Lim Yi Kong, um, 1066, your number, 1062. Come forward. We're just going to keep pulling these numbers until we've got some fabulous prizes here, ladies and gentlemen. Keep pulling them out, Jason, and can you give them to me? We've got to start on time. And 1068. Oh, the lucky eight. Uh, yep, 1068. Come forward. Golly. tell me what numbers you've got and I'll try and find them, all right? <laughs> oh, here's one. Come up on stage, sir. And you've got your choice here of uh, World Internet Summit recordings from Australia, uh, uh, the USA, and... Um, Stage, come up on stage. Okay, we've got two more. Yeah, one zero double five or zero six double zero one and thirty four thirteen. Otherwise, we're gonna, we're going to uh, keep going. We're going to keep going. Um, 1695. If you are 1695, come up and we've got two more to give away. 3482. Oh, oh, we got that one. Hey, that's it. It's quick on the redraw here. Okay, terrific. What's that? Yeah, CD recordings, yeah. Okay, we've got a special, special, special surprise for you. Yeah, that's it. We've got one left. Terrific. Right. All righty. Come in, everybody. Uh, can we have just some music under underneath that, please? Thank you. Ready for the afternoon session? All uh, got some fresh air. Ready to take in uh, from these marketing experts. And then we're going to see uh, towards the end Stephen Pierce try and raise $100,000. Oh, gee whiz. Wouldn't that be nice? That was that, that, it's going to happen, and it's all going to go to charity. And we'll hear a speci special message from a WIS graduate like me. I'm a WIS graduate. How's it going, Nigel? Good. What did you pick up from the first session? What was the one thing? Okay. How much does lifestyle cost and how much he needs to uh, maintain that lifestyle? Just turn to the person next to you, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them something you've learned already today. Come on, just turn to the person next to you. Tell them something you've learned basically today. Come on. This is all about 
getting out there and recognizing what you've just learned and then, of course, taking action on it. What is it? What is it you've learned? One little gem. I mean, there's probably been hundreds of gems. Are we ready to go? Throw the music, Kate. I'm ready when you are. Can we have everybody upstanding, please? Everybody upstanding. Come on. I tell you, this is going to be fun. Afternoon. Afternoon's always a bit sleepy. We've got our own special way here at Weldon Net Summit. Our own special way to keep you energized. Oh, wow. Oh, what's happening? Hey? What's happening? Come forward with those little surprises. All the crew, where are they? Fantastic from here. You should see it. <laughs> Magnificent. Come on, keep it going. Here's one coming your way right now. Here they go. Terrific. Fantastic. That's got a bit of energy up now, hasn't it? Keep that energy level nice and high. I think we've got to return them to the uh, to the middle, if you could. If there is a... Uh, and our great crew here, the fantastic crew, will pick them up. I think they can only handle about three at a time, but uh, thanks for that. Here they come. They're still going. Woo! Woohoo! All right. Okay, for those people who are in here early, we got a few prizes. Thanks. Take your seats now, ladies and gentlemen, for the afternoon session. Okay, now, it's not every day you meet a genius. In fact, there's only a few of them in the world, and you might even go through your lifetime without meeting one. Well... That's about to come to an end because you're about to meet a certified, recognized genius. Why is he a certified, recognized genius? Because that's what his clients say to him and write about him. And all the newspapers write about him. Because his ideas are of such original, such income-generating ideas that he's able to have the tag of genius. And you're about to... See, hear, feel this genius on stage here, not once but twice. Normally, his fee is $15,000 a day, paid all the time by his clients, but we get him twice for the ticket of entry to WIS. Incredible, I know. It's very hard to stand outside your business, isn't it, and market it. You know, it's just a step away from your business. Well, this is what our speaker is very, very good at, looking at your business and going, this is what you need. You better listen. This is the first time this presentation has been seen outside of his office, <laughs> and we're about to see it for the very first time here. All the way from Los Angeles, California, would you please make welcome on your feet, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, 
Up you get to give a standing ovation to Mr. Jay Abraham. Come on. It's a hard act to follow lunch. Boy, they put me in an awkward position. I have to be inspiring. I'm here for a reason. And I was here uh, doing some stuff for uh, the cancer. What she just done was it was configured totally different. So it's interesting to see this formulation. It's a big room, a lot of people. I'm here today, and I will be here on, what's the last day? Tuesday? Thank you. To help you all make the absolute most possible benefit out of the experience you are about to encounter. My job is to set the stage for you. My job is not to motivate and inspire, but to captivate you with realism and tell you what will help you each and every one prosper, profit, and monetize the best possible results from each and every expert that Brett and Tom are going to introduce you to. When I do something like this, I start with lots of notes, and then I throw them away because I want to feel the crowd and get a little sense of your motives for being here, and then I'm going to respond to those uh, goals, hopes, dreams. They have a list of what I'm going to talk about that says Master of Pass Passive Income. I'm going to talk about it in the context of what you're going to learn, and I'm going to tell you about, about our experiences online and why I think this is a wonderful opportunity. But I want to get a real quick canvas. Show of hands, how many people here are here to learn about internet marketing for your own personal interest, because you either want to get a, a, a supplemental income, you want to maybe transition out of your job or put a family member into something, or create a, an income stream that will service a life lifestyle goal, right? Hands? Okay. Hand, how many people are here because you want to learn mech methods that you can add to your existing uh, offline business? Hands? Okay. How many are here because your spouse said you had to come? There's some. How many are here because it was more fun than going to work? Okay, all right. So what I want to do is break up my, I'm going to talk for about an hour. I'm going to talk for 56 minutes and 52 seconds. There's a clock that reverts here, and I get it, it's a pressure cooker for me. Because I, when I do my own events uh, around the world, I talk for 86 hours. And it takes me three just to get started. So this is really hard. I'm going to go through, to the best of my ability, a sequence of advice, recommendations, uh, urgings, admonishments that I think will help you all. Then I'm going to tell you a little bit about some experiences we've had. And then I'm going to make you a delightful commitment of what I'm going to do for you to bring this all home on the last day. So the recommendations. You are about to be exposed, and I brought the directory, but I couldn't remember, so bear with me for a minute. I'm going to count. You all have one of these probably, right? Okay, so let's see how many people are here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to be exposed to at least ten expert perspectives about different forms, sources, methods, ways, and and uh, avenues of generating significant, meaningful, or outrageous income and profits online. Each person talking is indeed someone who has and is doing it. 
Each person is someone who is experience, ex, ex, experienced at sharing in credentials. There's going to be a broad spectrum of concepts you're going to be introduced to. The first thing you have to do is be in this room with a mindset of open, um, open, um, let's see what I want to, I want to use the right word. You've got to examine and evaluate these opportunities in terms of what your real goals are. You cannot do that. We, we teach in business building, and one of the reasons why I thought I'd be a very good person for you all to get inspired by is my life work is growing businesses, helping struggling entrepreneurs prosper, helping prosperous entrepreneurs create wealth, helping cutting edge entrepreneurs reach out and dominate their market. Online marketing, online business is a business. As a business, it's very fundamental. All the businesses are the same. The marketing technologies that I teach translate. And the point is, you, one of the things we teach is a concept called optimization. Optimization is getting the highest and best possible use now and long into the future out of your effort, your opportunity or opportunities, your time, your capital, your money, and your human capital, which is your own capacity and that of everybody else you enlist. If you were at one of my Accenture programs after I babbled for three hours, I would go on the board and I'd write and I'd say, you cannot optimize until and unless you first evaluate the scope of opportunities and options out there and understand how each one of them or combinations best relate to your goals, your abilities, and your, um, and your true long-term growth uh, objectives. Then I would interrupt and I would say, but most people I have met have not a clue what they're trying to get to, so they cannot reverse engineer a destiny path to achieve it. And I'm going to challenge all of you to spend a few minutes when I walk off the stage, and there'll probably be five or six minutes before the next person, and think about what is it you're trying to accomplish and why? And what is success supposed to look like? Now, that's the first thing. Second thing is you are going to listen to people who spend 24-7 doing what they're doing. They are trying to the very best of their ability to compress into an hour or two a short course primer understanding of the fundamentals of what they do and why it could be very valuable for you. Your job is to really try to be very focused and grasp and make lots of interpretive notes and evaluate what that might look like if you were to get involved with that in your part-time avocation, full-time, or if you were adding it to your current business operation. And you want to evaluate, can that give me the income? Can that give me the fulfillment? Can that be a vehicle to another step? One of the things that I teach to people are options, not options like going out and buying a chance to profit from the, uh, from the rise or fall of a stock, but the spectrum of choices you have. Most people don't realize it's not black and white. You don't have to say, okay, I'm either going to choose to do that or I'm going to reject that. You have the ability, you have the choice, you have the right to say, what if I combine elements of that along with part of that or a twist? And that requires you to broaden your sense of what is possible and to look at everything from a more, for lack of a better word, CAT scan. Is a CAT scan the same here? A CAT scan where they look at your brain from all, or a part of your body from all different angles. So when somebody shares with you an accelerated, compressed, short course understanding of what they have discovered that for them, and each of these experts has pretty well self-selected, they're going to tell you what they feel in their best reason, expert opinion, is the absolute best either route, method, tool, strategy.
strategy, product, product area, and there's a lot here, difference here, to get you where you want to be, but you got to know where it is you're trying to get to, because only then can you evaluate and and um, and embrace the opportunity, the elements, and the 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 usefulness of what they're saying. The next thing, very important, is open your mind throughout. Don't cut anybody's thought out just because initially it may not be something that you were originally thinking about. Some of the greatest opportunities I've ever uncovered for myself and my clients were an accident. We were going after something like this and through our our pursuit of it, we uncovered something totally different that we originally were going to summarily reject, but we didn't. We started looking at it and said, wow, that's sort of cool. And I, we've done about $20 million I can think of in the last two or three years just by opening our minds to things we had never even thought about. So we got to think about all that. Next thing is if you are not real comfortable online and you're trying to learn about it but you hear things that are a little intimidating or you hear things that are a little bit um, uh, confusing don't worry about it in the least and here is why number one most of these people are very skilled at bringing it down to the to the lowest common denominator of clarified understanding two is a lot of these people not all of them are willing to work with you and and banter you or train you. Number three, and, and this goes, any, were any of you in the National Achievers program that just ended? Well, I talked a lot about something we're doing a lot of, which is passive income generation. And one of the things we realize is it doesn't matter where you're strong or weak at, you can always find someone else who can do the heavy lifting for you for a small share of the results. One of my great friends is a very great expert in uh, effectiveness improvement. He's a master of doubling, tripling, quadrupling your effectiveness, and he's got a very simple formula. He says, your job is to figure out the three most valuable things that a business or a business opportunity or a new marketing or distribution area can can give you, figure out the three most important things you can do yourself for that that are going to make the biggest difference, then break those things into their component elements, and usually every major activity has three to five segments to it, and value rank your own capability in those skills. For example, uh, time management, I'm terrible, Uh, and, and I am too, but you guys might be as well. Uh, let's say you were valuing uh, technology, poor to dismal. He said, figure out what you're great at, what you're lousy at. Then he said, the key to all business achievement is uh, competency, um, competency, passion, and relevancy. And by that he means if it's if you're not competent, going from being terrible to lousy is a linear thing. Anything you're not competent at at, that you learn about in this room today, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. Don't worry if you're lousy and say, I can't keep track. I don't want to program. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. You can always find someone else who is competent at that, a mirror image of you. Let him or her be part of it either for a percentage and no equity or for equity you have total flexibility. So first thing is competence. Second is passion. You may be decent at something, even good, but if you loathe it, the energy you will expend, and this probably relates to a lot of you in your job, some of you in your business, because a lot of people in business are not in a business they love or just a necessity to pay the rent. If you're not passionate about it, even achieving mediocrity requires an extraordinary expenditure of energy. So as you hear concepts here, You may not be excited about the day-to-day, but you may be very excited about the macro concepts. That's okay because you can get other people to do your bidding for you 
online, passively, other places, and you can control almost all of the profit. And on the last day, if you're not clear on how to do it, I'm going to entertain tons of questions and let you guys plumb my mind free to, to learn how to do it. The next thing, competency, passion, relevancy. You may be the absolute greatest person in the world at doing online research. And maybe online research is going to uncover niches, and you could be one of these experts who's got a concept to find a niche and do that. Or it may be that it's going to uncover websites you can join ventures or whatever it is. I don't know what they're all topics are. But that's not the highest and best use of your time and your opportunity because somebody being paid 7 or $8 an hour or somebody working on a little variable compensation could do that for you while you work on the most lucrative, the most significant activities. So the key you've got to remember, I think is what I'm trying to say here, is even though you are going to learn about online marketing and internet businesses, they are businesses. And the key to most businesses, I have a very good friend who's an online marketing expert. He's a colleague of Stephen Pierce, who you're going to meet. And he's gained great stature online by doing one thing, teaching online marketers who were very tactical that this is a business. And as a business, it needs a strategy guiding it. As a business, you need to know where you're trying to get to. As a business, you need to know what it's supposed to be doing. As a business, you gotta, you got to deal with it and measure it and hold it accountable and have program growth. And all of you, if you want this to be more than just an idle exercise in, um, in passive entertainment this week, you got to look at this as a business and you got to look at yourself as a uh, ruthlessly focused, no nonsense, uh, optimized and highest and best use focused businessman or woman. And those of you who are going to try to apply this to an operating offline business, you absolutely have to do that. I'll tell you maybe some other things. I have helped three or four hundred of the top experts around the world um, of, in the Internet arena. I don't purport to be an online marketing expert. I will tell you this. What I do purport is the marketing technology that I've changed and taught for 30 years translates online, offline. I've helped lots of people just make their websites different or their emails different or their follow-up different or their their conversion and, and triple and quadruple and quadruple again. But the guys are, and the women you're going to hear from today and tomorrow and the rest of the days, they are experts. But it is a business. Here's what I learned about helping all these experts that teach personal achievement, business growth, money-making opportunities. Most people in audiences like you represent three categories of scenarios. Some of you are people who make things happen. You're, you prejudice towards action, towards doing things, towards making things happen, towards seizing and, and, and harnessing opportunity. Most people, very candidly, and it's not a criticism, it's a clinical observation. You watch things happen. You have most of your life to date taken the role of being more of a spectator of things going. A portion, hopefully not a large portion, but a portion of any audience who goes to anybody who sells or teaches expertise are people for whom things don't always happen to them or with them. And that's a mindset that's very, very self-destructive. What I try to tell people on the first day of my seminars, and they're paying me $25,000, and what I'd like to tell you as a prelude to getting the most out of the people you're going to hear about is try to decide which of those three categories you were when you walked in this room. And then, and then make a conscious decision to reconcile for yourself whether that is, in fact, where you want to be when you walk out. And by the way, you can be anything you want as long as you're true to yourself. But if you... If you verbalize to yourself or to others either outwardly or, or silently that you really want to create an online business that, you know, that replaces your job or adds to your business or puts your family in security, 
but you're really somebody who just sort of play acts at it. And I'm not trying, I'm not taking anyone out. I'm just saying, reconcile that and decide, is that what you want to be? Because there's no shame in be a, being a spectator on, on in the stands. I just think it's a lot more exciting, a lot more fulfilling, a lot more dimensional, and a heck of a lot more enriching to be a player on the field. And it's really just a decision. It's a commitment. It's a decisive shift in mindset that 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 uh, really alters the way you take in information, alters your processing of what you do with it, alters what you do when you go home, and alters your relationship with each and every one of its pieces. If you're somebody who things seem to keep happening to and less, you are a very, very unfortunately um, negatively blessed soul. It's probably a function of your mindset. And I would urge you to shift because the kind of stuff you're going to learn this week is going to empower you if you want to do something with it to transform some portion of your personal or economic life. And let me tell you what I mean by that. It may be that none of you ever make a million dollars with it, but if you just take something you learn or take somebody and let them work with you and you take what they teach and you apply it and you execute and you make it happen and making it happen generates revenue. And let's say it's not a million dollars. It's not $100,000 a month. It's a thousand. But it's real. You made it happen. You validated your ability to move from passive to active in achievement. Then you can keep adding layer and layer. It's a breakthrough to the barrier of resistance that may have kept you all your life. But it's a decision you've got to make. And one of the things that we do I'm, I'm very benevolent when I'm, in, in, when I'm uh, the guest of somebody else's great event. And I'm the guest of Tom and Brett and the group that was there. And so I've got to be very gentle to you. If this were my own event, I would be ruthless and I would tell you that most people that I have met who commit time and even big money to come to trainings or conferences think – to their terrible, terrible um, um, dismay that sitting in a room or paying some number of hundreds or thousands of dollars to be in a room or paying somebody for training is the commitment. That's not. It's the preparation. The way things happen in life are action. There was a quote from Albert Einstein. Action. Nothing happens until something or someone moves. And I really want to urge you because I've had the good fortune of helping, as I say, 300 experts, Tony Robbins been a client of mine, Brian Tracy has been a client of mine, half the people at the NAS in the States have been a client of mine, you know, half of the people who are Internet experts have either been clients of mine, come to my seminars, bought my stuff. I've gotten to look at the real raw data of how many people who go to a seminar do anything of how many people who buy training apply it. And the excuses are many. A lot of people think, well, someday I will. And I believe that's fine as long as you're true to yourself. Um, Shakespeare, I can't remember which one of the, 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 the novels, it's Polonius said to thine own self be true. As long as you're true to yourself and you know why you're here, and here means this event, but I would take this piece of information or this advice to everything you ever do. What you expect to get out of it, what your obligation is to yourself, not to me or the promoters or the experts or anybody else who you like well enough to do something else with. But what your obligation is to yourself and your family for the opportunity cost that you have and 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 what you do or don't do with it. As long as you're true, if you say, hey, my, my joy in life is going to programs and observing and occasionally buying stuff and, you know, listening and learning. I like to learn. Learning is my, my, my um, greatest therapeutic fulfillment. That's cool. But if you say, I really want to make a lot of money. I really want to grow my business. I really want to get out of my job. I really want to put my family here. I really want to get to, I want to own a house in Singapore instead of a, of, of, of a, uh, a condo. Or I want to have a car. Or I want to be able to travel. And you do not commit yourself. You are not really highly 
discipline to take the action and never accomplish the result. And again, I'm a little tougher than most people because I see lots of people spend a lot of time, a lot of time sitting in chairs, watching, taking notes they never look at, taking notes they look at and never do anything with, listen to stuff and say, well, that's good, but that's not for me. That's good, that's not for me. The key to life, the big secret, is there is no secret. There, there's, a, there's a number of really wonderful and reasonably lucrative ways to achieve anything you're after as long as, first, you know what you're after. Number two, you are willing to pay on a daily basis the price it takes in commitment, in discipline, in forward action, and, and this is very important, you do it yourself. I was talking to uh, Mark Joyner in the little green room. We got a room at Hume and started with green, but it's still kind of neat. Anticipate coming out here. And we were talking about this, and I said, the secret to all life is no secret. And I said, each and everybody in this room, I hope, got up this morning and or last night, whenever you do it, you shower, you know, you cleanse yourself. Hopefully you brush your teeth. You, you know, did your bodily functions in the bathroom, the toilet. You ate. You got dressed. And as long as you do that every day, you become attentive, ready, you know, balanced. Because you stop doing it if you come with no clothes on or you come without, you know, bathing or cutting your hair or, or combing your hair or eating, you're going to be dysfunctional. Well, the key to all achievement is there's no secret. There's a disciplined process. And it's really not hard, but it's very hard if you don't do it. And you can't do it once and think it'll always happen to you. There are, however, methods. There are techniques that are low effort. It does not mean you don't have to work once in order to make income ongoing. And it doesn't mean you have to keep modifying it and managing it and monitoring it. But the secret is you you are the secret. You're the cause. You're, 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 you're the stimulus. In four days when you leave and in 40 days or four months or four years, the difference between whether you achieve what you're after or not, whether it's online or whether it's in your business or whether it's through your career, doesn't matter. What matters is how true you are to yourself. Whenever I have anything go wrong, 95% of the time when I'm looking for the culprit, I walk into um, either the bathroom or I go onto our landing in my home because I have a very large mirror there and I point an onerous finger at the person in the mirror because that's the person that can change your life. These people have, have knowledge, they have wisdom, they have technology, they have shortcuts, they have systems, they have they have experience, documented successes, but it is useless if you're not going to commit to do what has to be done. It may have got a couple more things to do. And again, I, my job is to make this not necessarily fun, but enriching for you. You're not here to waste your time, I don't think, are you really? My job is to get you guys in here mentally. So, okay, let's talk about how people best learn. Because this is a real secret that has taken me 30 years of doing seminars, 30 years of working with cutting-edge people. When you hear anybody on this podium share with you an idea, you got to do three things with it. Force yourself to take notes. If any of you have an electronic device that you want to take it with, put it away and get a piece of paper. The reason is when you take notes by hand, it processes through your brain in a totally different way. It moves your brain in this, in, and, and there's a piece of paper inside another one, but what we try to do is break it about a third, two thirds, or a fourth, three fourths, how you want to do it. This side is the, is the, um, let's say that, is the literal idea. This side is the interpretive one. So let's say Jay said, you got to figure out whether you're a voyeur in life, whether you're a victim in life, or whether you're an achiever. And it, no matter where you are on that list, how to move yourself to either the next level or the highest level of achievement. Well, you might write down whatever you want, like where am I on the list? But rather than just 
just leaving it like that, knowing that the odds of you following up are low, challenge yourself to cross over and make the bridge from abstract, linear thinking to specific, relevant to you. Like you might say, I've never really done anything with the training I've ever had, or I've really never said anything, but I want to make a million dollars. I've never reverse engineered what that means on a day, a week, a month. I never understood why. I've never had goals that are finite. And force yourself to keep taking your interpretation of what you hear to more personal, specific, interpretive goals. Why? Because it'll make the value of the information come alive to you. It'll make you connect better. And it'll make you be able to more uh, effectively, accurately, and honestly determine and evaluate what and how much of each expert's message has the best relevance and actionability for you. And constantly at the break, I would ask yourself constantly, am I someone who makes things happen, someone who watches things happen, and these things happen? Am I an achiever, but who, who really achieves? I mean, an achiever can be a mindset, but I live in a world because most of what I did the first three quarters of my life, I only got paid for the results I produced. All the good intention, all the wonderful words, all the, you know, all the, the hard preparation was useless because I didn't deliver results for my partners, for my clients, for my employers. I didn't get paid. It was a great discipline because I realized that all the excuses, all the tangential efforts, they're, 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 you know, I guess noble, but they're irrelevant. What really counts in the world, if you're talking about business, is achievement. Now, with that achievement, you can use the influence, you can use the freedom of time, you can use the monetary gain, you can make great contributions, you can change the world. But none of that happens if you don't change yourself first. And if you're somebody who's got a prejudice to making things happen, I'm here to tell you, and it's not my job today to teach you my skill set, but you can make your time and your effort pay off many times more. If you're someone who's never really done anything of consequence but have aspired, have hoped, dreamed, or articulated that you want to be independent or you want to be more successful, you want more streams of income, then use this opportunity, this arena, to profoundly transform yourself over the course of the next four days. And I'm, I'm racing this clock. Um, let me think what else I want. Isn't this fun? I hope this makes sense. I'm not trying to frustrate you. I'm trying to make everybody else valuable for you. Um, we think online marketing is an extraordinary area for you to get very comfortable with. We think it's going to constantly multiply in its, in its importance, in its uh, economic benefit. We think that if you learn to master as many different forms and area, areas of online marketing skill, you're going to be incredible in your own life. You're going to have the ability to create very significant, maybe not total wealth independence, but very significant income. You're going to be able to transform and expand the reach, the depth, the, the profitability of your existing business. You're going to be an extraordinarily valuable profit center to your employer. Those of you who watched me at the um, NAC, and I, did, I, I tend to do free form expression. I think about everything. I make all these notes, and then if I look at them, I can't remember what I want to say, so I try to talk from my heart. But I was talking about this, um, I think, yesterday, and I was talking about the fact that as an employee, you're either an expense or you're an income producer. Does that make sense? Uh, show me the, the hands for the people who own businesses. So you understand. People that are expenses want to keep those costs down. But if somebody can make you a lot of windfall money that you never would have had before, wow, you'll pay those people maybe not anything they want, but on a, on a variable basis tied totally to their contribution, they say, hey, I want 
I want to make a million dollars based on me making you three million. He'd say, well, okay, wouldn't you? As long as it was variable. So some of these things think that one of the things I'm very proud of is my mind has learned to spin, to look at things from so many vantage points that I see things no one else does um, and positive things. So the employers here think as you're learning this, the business owners, how can you use it directly in my business? Look, because we teach one of the things we've talked about, I don't think I'll talk about it here. We have programs on teaching people how to master passive income, but I'm going to use a page from that philosophical concept here. Employers who have capital, you can take a concept you learn from somebody here that may actually not be something you yourself want to do for any of a number of reasons. It's not big enough. It's not the area you find you like the most. But there's no reason you couldn't take that concept, fund somebody else. And look at this manager here, business owner, just for confirmation. Fund somebody else. You keep the lion's share of the money. And there's so many people in this room, for example, who would love to do something but don't have the money. If you had the training, if you had the money, maybe the training's a few thousand dollars. You buy the training, you put up a few dollars, somebody else runs it, you keep the lion's share. You could put somebody in 10 different businesses. If you're an employee and you're here preferably to learn how to do something for yourself or for your family that will secure your future or generate lots of supplemental income, that's cool. But don't close your mind to the possibility that one of these teachers might give you a brilliant concept for your employer or for your wife's employer or for some past employer that you could put together for them, set it up, work hard once, and be paid an override forever. You have possibilities, and this comes back to this discipline of making things happen. It's a committed mindset. There is nobody you're going to meet, with very few exceptions, who's achieved any level of greatness that doesn't know how to make things happen. And when they get to a certain level, keep making more things happen. We're working on a brand new book, and it's all about getting unstuck because most businesses, most employees, for that matter, most lives, most families, most relationships get stuck and don't know it. I would submit that it's admirable you're here, but as you're here and you're listening, you open your mind and you say, am I stuck with a rigid thinking? Because you're sitting here thinking, I want this for my business. That's good, but there might be 10 times the opportunity in putting somebody else in business. If you're here thinking, I want this so I can get away from my employer, that's cool, but it might be 10 times as probable if you said, darn, I can take that to my employer. Just open your mind. Does that make sense? Is this all resonating? Okay, again, we like online marketing because it gives enormous leverage, upside leverage, to anybody in business. You can take what you learn in this room and you can, instead of doing it for yourself, you could be a performance or a fee and performance-based consultant. And I know a lot about that because I've generated $8 billion worth of profit increases, most of which I was able to share in little or big by going to people and adding new performance centers, new revenue streams. And an online marketing is a new revenue stream. You are here in Singapore. There are some number of thousands or tens of thousands. I don't know if there's 100,000 businesses in Singapore. But the concepts you're going to learn about are taught by people who operate on a worldwide basis. These are worldwide applicable concepts. That means you could take those two businesses or individuals all over the world and do them for them, with them. And that's the kind of scope of possibility thinking I would ask you to embrace. However, I would then pull you back down to ground level and say none of that optimism and theoreticism is worth anything if you aren't committed to make things happen. The key to all this is you got to make things happen and like like taking a shower, going to the bathroom, feeding, combing your hair. It's a daily commitment. And I don't know if anyone's going to talk about that, but I really am on the last day. What I'm doing here is setting you up. I know most of the people here, and they're very quality people. I know most of the people here, and their intentions are extremely honorable. I know most of the people here, and they are committed 
to giving you a very comprehensive fundamental understanding of the power of the profitability and the relevance of what they say in an hour or two. I know a lot of the people here are open to working with you if you want. That's your prerogative. The most important thing here this week is to get the very most you can for yourself, not in this static existence at this point, wherever you are, a business or an employee or a husband or a spouse, but to think in a grander scheme of where else it might apply. Does that make sense? We think online marketing is exciting because th there's a pro and a con. In the level most of these people are going to introduce, you can't affirmatively do it yourself or with very little overhead. There's very little that you're going to you're going to scale up that isn't going to require some. I want to be the reality check. Everything in life that grows has some required maintenance or monitoring to it, but it's very much less with this kind of businesses than anything else. Number two, it is a great complement to everything else you do. Number three, you can, in fact, realize very significant income <coughs> as close to passively as possible. And I was talking to, <coughs> excuse me, Richard Tan. I was talking to Tom and Brett. Please forgive me one second. At the break before I came up and I said, you know, we don't purport to be full-time online marketers. I help lots of people who market online because marketing fundamentals are universal and they translate. But just so you know the power of this, and I'm not saying this to impress you, I'm saying, and I, by the way, I don't say a word that isn't experiential-based. I don't share a story that hasn't actually happened for a client or for me, and I don't, I don't share a financial example if I haven't realized it. The only difference is some of the long ago stories, I've done so many, I might tell you five million and maybe it was really six or four and a half because I got so many success stories that I don't always remember the exact, but, they all, but they're all real and you can check my track record. We do something no one else does. And I'm gonna tell you how we do it on the last day time allowing. We go to people who have lists and have affinities and we find a way to get them to give us access in a very direct way. And we've done it for the last five years to the tune of about five million supplemental profit dollars a year. We don't do it full time, we do it opportunistic. There's two ways to do anything, strategic, which means you do it constantly as a mainstay business and it's reverse engineered. Opportunistic is when situation converges and when the opportunity is blatantly evident, you pounce and take advantage and you hit a killer profit when it works. We left about a week and a half ago to come to Malaysia because we did uh, the other, the two uh, national retreat. We were in Malaysia last week. Two days or three days or five days, anywhere in five days before we left, we did an experiment of an online um, um, concept that I'm considered I'm very innovative, but I'm also not very technical. So I don't know how to execute, but I know how to do it. So we did a test. When we left, we had nothing. When we got here, we got results, and they were encouraging. Today I got a report. We have made, we're gross. We've grossed a million two from what we did in about two and a half weeks. The profit's about a million one. And I say this, this is, this is a flaw in my makeup. I am a mad scientist. You know what a mad scientist, not angry, just crazy. I'll do stuff and as long as it works, I get bored with it and I'll do something else. But the concept exists all over the world. It's applicable for anybody and I'm gonna share with you how we did that on the last day. I'm gonna share with you uh, how we did three and a half million last year about the same time from an opportunistic thing with, you know, with I, I got a staff of about four people, so it wasn't really a big deal, and, and only one of them was was necessary for this, and that's somebody who could have done it outside. She wouldn't have been necessary, but I don't know how to turn my computer on, so there's, you know, she had to turn my computer on. I swear to God, everyone knows me, but it's very powerful. That's why we're excited, because you can do so much when you learn the power, and what I want to do is take everything you've learned and show you how to spin it and expand it and enhance it 
to make it work so much better for you. So on the last day, I'm going to do three things. You're going to come on about an hour or two before the end. You will get exposed to lots of people. You'll have hopefully followed my idea and it'll be real in your mind. You'll be asking yourself, am I a boy or am I a victim? Am I an achiever? If I am an achiever and I've got documented achievement, how much more could I get from the same time and effort if I focus better and I use some of the accelerated tools that have been exposed to me here? You're going to be seeing all the ways that the knowledge that you're learning can be applied in your linear situation, your business or your job or your family, but also beyond that, you're going to see if any of them really ro just rock your boat, mean the same thing here, turn you on, get you excited. You might do some stuff with the speakers. You might not. I have no, uh, no concern one way or the other other than you get the most out of the opportunity and you get the clearest connection with who you really are and what you really want. As I said, there's a lot of people that once – I do this all the time. Once I, I get them to acknowledge, yeah, I, I just really like the, the look, you know, and sometimes I buy stuff I don't do anything with it, but that's therapy for me. That's cool as long as you know the reasons why. The tragedy is – deluding yourself and saying, I want greatness, I want financial independence, I want more wealth, I want more income, I want passive income, I want to move out of this business or out of this job or out of this career or out of this country, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's what you want. We all have, we all have beautiful knowledge. I say this with truth. There's, with, with the exceptions of acts of God, of, you know, of, of sad and, tra and, and tragic physical, ab you know, abnormalities, there's no one in the world whether you've got a dead-end job, whether your business isn't what you want it to be, whether your relationship isn't what you want it to be, whether your marriage isn't what you want it to be, whether your body isn't what you want it to be, if you want something better, guess what? You can make it happen. You can make it better. That's the secret. And it's this. If you really want this to make a profound impact in your life, it's done deal. But you've got to be true to yourself. i got a couple more points. done something very wonderful for me. They have arranged to get you a collection of unedited interviews with approximately a dozen of the entrepreneurial world's really stupendous achievers. These have nothing to do with the internet. They're not instead of listening to these people, they are to take whatever knowledge, whatever ideas, whatever training you either come away with, commit to, embrace, and make sure you take action. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about some of the people in these interviews. They're all going to be posted online so you can access them. It's really cool. And on the last day, they're going to give you the access and information and tell you how to use them. And, and, and there's going to be a document that you'll see how to use them to get the most out of all the knowledge you get from these people and any of their training materials you might acquire. But one of them is the only interview Tony Robbins ever did on entrepreneurialism and making business things happen. One of them is uh, a fella in the United States who is well known for a great sports achievement, but he started and built over 20 companies from scratch and sold them for hundreds of millions of dollars without ever putting a dime up. And he tells you his philosophy on a day-to-day -day basis. One of them is an interview with a man who set and still holds the Guinness World Record for selling more merchandise at retail in Europe than anybody else ever has or, uh, or probably ever will. And he tells you how to get all kinds of other people to grow businesses for you. Another is a person who tells you how – that guy that I told you about the effectiveness coach, I interviewed him for 90 minutes one time, and he did another interview that is cooler than cool where he explains exactly the concept of how to get highest and best use of your time, how to concentrate on the best things that are going to make you the most money how to pay yourself everything you are ever worth and how to hold yourself to a much higher standard. Another one is a man who took $1,000 and, and started on his kitchen table with uh, a, a business model that's totally translatable online and he parlayed it to 450 million to a disciplined formula like this thing I'm talking about doing every day and he tells what it is and how to overlay it in anything you ever do and a bunch of other things, but this is cool. And the deal is just to make everything you get out of the speakers, everything you can get out of any of their uh, advanced training, pay off the most and compensate for whatever, let's say, tendencies you might have to not be true to yourself, as I said. 
when I come on on the last day, I'm going to do something I hope you like. It's probably the most powerful and useful thing I do. When I was younger, and I'm 58, but I've been doing this for 30 years, I used to like to teach theoretical knowledge. It was fun. Then I got excited that most people couldn't see how it translated specifically to them. Because I've been involved in over 500 industries, because I've done everything imaginable, because I don't purport to be an online marketing expert, but I understand how to make the dynamics of energy and put it on your marketing plan of meeting, I'm going to do a session for 45 minutes to an hour where everybody gets to submit questions in advance to Brett and Tom, and we're going to pick a group of the most universal, the ones that apply to almost everybody, and the most unique, and we're going to answer them very specifically so you all can see how to make whatever you get from this even be better, whatever they do in training even be better. Uh, then, on the last day, time allowing, I'm going to tell you how we have generated all these millions of dollars opportunistically and give you a way to all make this energy a living. That's pretty much it. I'm done. There's eight minutes left. I have only two more things to say. This is going to be a really meaningful and, and it could be a turning point experience for you if you want it. If you don't, it's a way to kill the week. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the people up here, including me. Who do you think it has everything to do with? Yes, what you get out of it, what you're, what you're, you're willing to put into it, and how much commitment you're willing to make, not just sitting your butt in the seat, but to making notes, to discipline, to asking yourself at the break, am I committed, what am I? Am I a voyeur, am I an achiever? How much of an achiever? What do I have to do to move from where I was to that? That's gonna make all the difference. And my hope for each and every one of you is that on the last day, you've gotten even more than you hoped for and that my few words this morning or this mid-morning mid can inspire you to look at this experience in a much more exciting, serious, enriching, and interactive light where you're really connected to the process. You're not sitting in the audience up here. Okay? That's it. Thank you. Mr. J. Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. Come on.